Who doesn't like a nice little bit of lo-fi crunch? Really does add some nice life and character to a standard loop. That's just a 4-4 beat, but just gets so much more energy and ambience and atmosphere from effectively taking away some of the information that's in it. Really nice. I thought today I'd go through a few options from free. This is the bit crusher from Logic. To relatively cheap. This is well, very cheap, 17 euros, this SP950. This RX950 is 20 euros, I think. The Decimort is what, 49 euro. And this is 79 euro at the minute. Actually, it's normally 199, and it's 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 based on uh, the Otto Biscuit hardware, which is why it's taking its time to get the delay in sync, just like the hardware does. Here we go. Well, let's go through them, show you what we've got here. So we'll start off with Logic's own Bit Crusher. And all those have got something like this. This is the Redux or Redux in Ableton. Redux as in reduction, as it's reducing the bit rate or the amount of information in the, in the signal. Well, let's just go through these really quickly. Let's bring the drive down, resolution back up to 24 bit, down sampling off and mix on full. Okay, so that's what you'd normally expect this to sound like, 24 bit. If you reduce the number of bits, reduce the amount of information per sample, which means you lose information, it gets a bit noisier, gets a bit rougher. Down sampling means you're sampling at a lower frequency. So you can't sample those really high frequencies and then you end up getting all these aliasing noises. You can hear all those little pings and pongs. They're sort of unrelated harmonically to the main signal. You really don't want those if you're trying to do hi-fi stuff. Ends up taking over the signal. But it sounds nice, doesn't it? Add some drive. Put this back on full resolution, actually. This has got some really nice drive options. Turn it down a bit. Got a clip. You can see it's clipping that wave there. And that's what that sounds like. Got a fold. It's a wave folder. So that top of that wave from the bottom of that wave is going over that line. It's distorting, it's folding, changes the sound, changes the tone, adds all sorts of new harmonics. drive the link here but then there's wrap which is like folding on uh, on speed so loads of nice stuff it's free you know let's add a bit of fold a bit of drive Play around with that and you get all sorts of weird little artifacts. Take it off. Listen to that bouncing and jiggling around. Really nice. <laughs> Free. Next up in the order of cost is the RX950 from Infonic. The S950. One of the most famous samplers from the 80s, praised for its legendary sound. For over a year, we studied every bit of this Studio Gear masterpiece to bring back its unique character to your modern digital audio workstation. Introducing the RX 950. That's enough of that. 
I did have an S950 and I sold it for the much more Hi-Fi S3200, which is worth virtually nothing now. Well, the S950 is worth quite a bit, but I don't really get selling it because I've got this instead anyway. Just got four knobs and a single button. Input gain. Now, when I use the S950s to whack that gain up with some real grit, so this apparently emulates that perfectly. Audio bandwidth, this is the same as the down sampling. You can see the the maximum resolution there. And that's different from filtering. We've got the filter here. This is the based on the S950 filter. Famous filter. Thing with the S950 was it only ever came with I think it was two meg of memory so the reason why you brought your audio bandwidth down was to save memory so if you're sampling something at 10 kilohertz it's half as much memory as sampling at a 20 you're sampling half as many things in the same amount of time and what that does is this drop the output try and get them level there's the grit. This is why people love it. So you still got the hi-hats in there, you still got the, the groove. You lose a lot of information, but you sort of gain stuff as well, an awful lot. Very nice, 17 euro. Just, I just bought it because it was an absolute no-brainer. Next up then we've got this SP950 and this is based on the EMU SP1200 but also has the S950 filter in there, the sixth order filter for S950 addicts. I wouldn't say I'm an addict but you know, not far off it probably. And again, this is really simple. We've just got a gain knob and that can be connected to the out which is really, really useful. Plus the filter. And then we've got fine control and we can extend the control and I'll show exactly what this is. But instead of using the down sample of the audio bandwidth that we've got on the others, we use this slider here. And this is used in the same way as the audio bandwidth or the down sampling. It's the same thing, but just based on the workflow from the SP1200. If you wanted to down sample something, basically you would increase the speed on your, on your decks. If you play something at double the speed, you're playing it an octave higher, but you use the same sample rate, and then you play it back an octave lower, you've effectively halved your sample rate. Normal range of a deck is from 33 to 78. You can hear it gets grittier as you go lower. So this is basically resampling and then playing it back at the same speed. So. So on this one, the gain doesn't have as much effect as it did on the RX950. But you've got more of those sort of aliasing effects in the high range. Nice though, isn't it? You can feel the kick you get from that. Just compare that to the 950 for a second. See, the gain on that does awful things. Awful in a good way. Okay, so they're two super simple ones, RX950 and SP950, to emulate that 12-bit grit you get from the Emus and the Akai's. Next up is the Decimo from D16. It's 49 euros. It's a bit more expensive than the others, but it's got an awful lot more going on. It can basically do what the others can do, sort of, but you've got more control over everything, so it's a bit more of a creative effect. This is it doing its SP1200 bit. 12 bit. You can see the down sampler in the middle, so the frequency is the down sampler, and this is the same as wiggling this. Or this or oh, this same thing but here you can see we've got a lot more stuff going on so if we put this onto 16 44.1 so the jits are off we're on cd quality 
reduce it down. Let's take it down to 12 bit again. Add some uh, lower, well, take the high frequencies out. Get that crunch, preamps in. Sounds a bit like that S, uh, SX950, is it? We've got jitter here as well. Jitter adds noise, more noise to the sound, and sort of opens the stereo image as well. But here we've got these two additional things, so frequency de deviation and frequency shift. And these are doing things before and after the signal, as far as I can understand it, really. So putting in more high frequency that this can't cope with. You end up with much more crunch. We'll take it out before it gets there. Less crunch. Same over here on the right, but I think this is sort of post resampling. So it brings information or reduces the amount of information or high frequency information. some aliasing going on there if we take this back down it's taking that information out so you can just really fine-tune this let's make some really crunchy hats from this shall we add some jitter there we go this down even further shall we bring in a filter band pass there we go add the dry signal back in none of the others have that ability lovely compare that to turning this off and this is why we love digital crunch added loads of life there filters pre and post as well oh ow ow nice that in it that's filtering it before it goes in So obviously there's loads more things, I've spent a lot more time playing with that because there's lots more things to look at. And just really, I should show you this as well, let's just go through a few of the presets in here. So you've got old samplers. Let's take the filter off, because I'm not interested in that at the minute. An emulator, S20. Or we can go in and play with all these different, more, more creative effects. Crunchy drums. Fairlight, CM2, CM1, pure 80s stuff. So yeah, just so much more to do on that, but it is 49 euros. So that brings us over to the Softube Auto Biscuit, and this is based on the hardware. So it's got all the quirks of the hardware. The hardware is about a thousand pounds, I think now. Luckily I got one when they're about 200 pounds. Uh, beautiful, but I have bought this because it's just really handy to have it in your door. And yeah, 79 euros at the minute, 199 normally, but you know, once you open it, you start playing with it, you realize it's a high quality little bit of software. So let's turn it on. Let's take the effects off for now. 
just like the others we've got sort of very similar effects naked and dressed that's the dry signal now the wet signal drive hear it clip in there and you can see it clipping on the red it does exactly the same thing as i say on the uh, on the hardware there's the clock so this is the the resampler or the bit rate reduction or whatever they've all got this this is all 8-bit by the way so you can't change the bit rate uh, the number of bits on this and there's your 8 bits we can flip them invert them or turn them off so that bit number one has very little effect whereas over here <laughs> That's flipping it from like 128 to minus 128 or something, isn't it? Okay, we've got high pass, we've got a low pass, and we've got um, a band pass on this. It's the high pass. Let's bring some of the original signal back in. Resonance. Low pass. And then down here we've got effects. We saw some of them earlier. Wave distortion. Let's uh, put this on a band pass, shall we? Crunch it up. Blend in the original signal. Bat fuzz does look a little bit like Batman. Delay we saw earlier. Pitch works better with pitched tones. <laughs> and step, we got to the step filter. off again That's what the brain button does let's bring that delay in again I like the delay although it took a although it took a bit of time to get going there you have it a few little options for low bit grit from free to 17 euros 20 euros 49 euros and 79 euros at the minute only 199 but yeah um, have fun with them and I'll see you next time and if you know if you did like that do think about subscribing ring the bell and all the rest of it because no one's paying me for doing this all right I will see you next time